All right, so the first thing I did here was I went ahead and installed the Hello theme. This is a free theme from Elementor. It's very, very minimal. And I've also installed the free version of the plugin Elementor. So the first thing I wanted to know was where to do my major settings. Here I can see I have the settings tab, there's general, and over here I have integrations. So the integrations, there's only Google Maps, and then on the advanced here, in fact, there's nothing very exciting here. We also have experiments. Okay, nothing very exciting here on the settings tab. So I guess most of the action is going to be when I start building my pages. So let's go ahead and do that. At this point, I was very excited to see what the experience was going to be. So I'm gonna say edit with Elementor. So the first thing I can see here is this is where I have all my elements. I'm not sure what they call them in uh, Elementor. Let's say I want to start creating my section. I'll click here to add a new section. And these are the columns. I'm gonna add two columns, right? So I guess now my settings that are active are for the actual set uh, section. So it's boxed, so I can make it uh, full width here. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. I wanna start adding some elements into there. So let's see, let me drag a heading. So I'm gonna add some more text and I'm also going to add a button. So I'm gonna come back over here. Let's add a button. At this point, I was getting more and more confident because the drag and drop system is similar to how it's used in Divi. All right, so over here on the right, I want to add an image. So this is looking very straightforward so far. If I want to add my image here, all I have to do is to click add my image. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm surprised that it is quite easy to work with drag and drop. And it's also quite fast. You know, that's what I, well, one thing I realized it's pretty fast. Now that I've added all this information, uh, I want to find out how easy it is to now go in and customize uh, these elements that I've just added in here. So I'm going to click here on the heading text. And now I can click style. So this is pretty much similar to Divi because Divi also has these three tabs. It has the content, the style, and the advanced. Let's say I wanna change this text. I guess I have to come here and then I can choose my font family. I started off with a lot of confidence, but now I was getting confused. Uh, wait, let's go for bold. Now this is quite confusing because there's no, um, size here. Anyway, let me put that. I felt like I spent too much time working on this text element. Now it was time to look for the templates. So to add my templates, where do I go? So I guess I'd have to come over here to the theme builder, but I was wrong. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, here we go. So we have our header, footer, single page, blah, blah, blah. That looks really good. Right. So let's add our header here. Oops. Looks like I have to upgrade. So I can't even create my header. <laughs> Eager to find out what Elementor has in store, I decided to upgrade to the pro version because I felt like I was going to go into more and more roadblocks. So the license I got was for the pro version and this is what I went for, just the $59 a year. I don't wanna really commit like crazy right now because I'm just playing around with Elementor to see if it is uh, really good and something that I could you know, start using and start creating tutorials on. Okay, so now back over here on our site, I've just uploaded the plugin and here it is. Now I just have to connect and activate. Now that the activation is complete, let's take a look and see if those features are unlocked. So let's quickly create our header here. Now bear in mind, I haven't used Elementor before, you know. So let's see. I'm pretty sure all you guys that use Elementor are probably thinking, man, just do this or just do that. But hey, please be patient with me. Let's try this one. With my header now selected, was this going to work? Yeah, how do I add my menu? Oh, I haven't created it. I guess that's where, that's where the problem is. Oh, I have to create it. Okay, that's fine. And this is where my logo goes. All right, so let's say that is my header. Let's publish it. Just when I thought my header was ready for publishing, I had another problem, conditions. What the hell are conditions? Okay, let's add condition. Entire site, yep. Uh, is there another condition? Okay, if I wanted to exclude this, oh, I can exclude this from a particular page. So if I wanted to exclude this on uh, archive pages, 
I could do that. That's pretty cool. So it's, so the header can go on the entire site and then exclude it on archive. I like that. I like that. All right, save and close. Turns out that the conditions was actually a very good feature. Yep, it worked. There we go. Now we have a header. Although I was impressed with the header, what Elemental didn't know was I was going to put it through another test. Is it going to impress me? I have WooCommerce installed. Let's see what happens. So now, oh, they have templates. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. All right, let's insert it. How is this gonna work, I wonder? Okay, so what's this? Having the product templates was a very good idea, but I wanted to start from scratch. So I'm gonna go with two columns and let's add product image. Let's add, in fact, I won't do much here. I just wanna see if the template is going to work. So product title, bring it here. What else can we add? Product price. Okay, add to cut button, that's very important. Oh, we also need a description though. So I'm gonna come back over here. I felt like I added enough content for me to test my template. <laughs> wow. Okay. I know it's not properly designed. Yeah, of course, I need to take some more time to uh, make things look the way I want to uh, make them look. But so far, I can see the template works. There's been a lot of talk around Flexbox or the container in Elementor. And I was really eager to find out how this works because from what I hear, it makes your pages load really fast. Now, I have no idea how to use this container, so let's give it a go. So, do you drag and drop it? Or do you click here? Ah, you see, this layout now has changed. It's not as we had before, where we had the section, the columns and everything. Now we have all these arrows and directions. Okay, let's have a look and see how this works. But this looks the same though. Okay, let's start adding elements in. I may be rushing here. Okay, let's do what we did before. Here's our heading. Come back over here. Let's add our text. Okay, and then let's add a button. Uh, where's our button? Right here. It's pretty much the same to me. Although this looked the same, if you look closely, I did not use rows. Okay, let's go to our section here. What if I did this? Ah, oh, so you see now, this part here has now come to the bottom. In fact, you know what? Let's come in here. Let's come over here and add something in there. Let's add an image so you can see what I mean. All right, so I have my image here. Let's add a proper image. Let's go with that and insert the image. If I come to my section here and I do that, now it's under and that space here has nothing on it. Ah, and this reverses it. I really like that. Okay, so what if I want to center everything? Does that work? Let's try this. I guess it's this one. <laughs> Whoa, I was definitely getting excited, but this time I wanted to try something very complex. So let's say I wanted to add two buttons here, one next to, uh, one next to the other. How would I do that? Um, let's come back. Can I add a container in here? Okay, that's a container. Uh, can I add, you know where I'm going with this, right? Can I add a container in here? Can I? Which has two columns. Eh, uh -uh. No, that's not working. How would I do that? Button next to the next uh, to the next button. Oh, hang on. We have a plus button here. What's this for? Uh, at this point, I had to accept defeat. I could not add two buttons next to each other. Okay, so I think I've played around with this enough. And so far, all I can say is... Based on this, I cannot conclude and say this is a difficult page builder because the way I'd like to look at this is, let's say, okay, you want to learn how to drive. You start off with driving automatic and then you're trying to drive manual. So if you go into an automatic BMW and then you go to a manual a Mercedes, does that mean manual is hard? No, not necessarily. It just means that if you take a bit of time to learn how to drive a manual, eventually you get used to it. But already here, I like it. It's quite simple. It's very straightforward. It's very easy to use. It's not as difficult as I thought, but I guess with time, I'll be able to find my way around. All right, that was my attempt to try to use Elementor for the first time. Anyway, so what are your thoughts? Comments in the box below. See you soon.